Man, this shit really rings me back. <laughs> <laughs> no way. We have completed Desert Treasure, 3 quest points, 20k magic, and Ancients. Now we can also finish um, our FD, so... Nice. Yeah, I won't be using these anytime soon. But all you have to do is pray at it, and there we go. Pretty actually easy. I thought it was going to be a lot harder than that, but yeah, there we go. 4k cooking, 4k HP, 1 quest point, and increased access in the chest. So I think we just have the final fight now. Yep. Never done this before, ever. <laughs> so easy. Use like 4 food. Is that it? This fat ass blows up. And we get everything. So now we should have full access to the full chest. We have completed or defeated the Columancer. One quest point, 20k XP length, and full access to the chest, which means we have Barrow's Gloves. Let's go right ahead and use this on prayer. 20,000 prayer XP, 56 prayer coming in. And let's go check out the chest. So nice to see that in green. Oh, we have a 50 stock of chocolate bars. And now we can buy Barrow's Gloves for 130k. So, we went from having bronze to Barrow's Gloves. Nice, I'm actually, that's, that's insane. So we did a bunch of questing, and uh, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break and stay in the farming guild and get a bunch of contracts done and work on my herb lore. Um, it's going to take me a lot longer than I thought to collect the uh, mushroom little mushrooms but other than that uh we can do the rest of the prayer potions at regular energies and things like that and then we'll collect more seeds to do some more limp roots and irits hopefully 62 herb lore and it looks like my limp is done and coming in with 63 herb lore which is super restores without a boost now which is awesome all right so we're gonna start doing some trees to get some fast farming coming in with 62 range Okay, so this is new. We did our first farming contract, which was the Jenga Berries. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click this, I think. I have completed my contract. We get a seed pack. And would you like another contract? Yes. Let's go ahead with another easy. Oh, that's all we can do anyways. Please grow some sweet corn and I'll reward you once it's fully harvested. We'll see what we get from the seed pack, though. A spory seed, potato cactus, apple tree, nothing good so far really, just a bunch of birdhouse run stuff, and four marital, so nothing good. This is so nice for collecting snape grass now. And this is a big compost bin and it holds 30. Maybe the first farming level of the day. Nice, coming in with 64 farming, and I heard if you bring a bit of money with the with you, you can talk to these guys and have them chop it down. Um, can you chop down my tree for me? Can't be bothered, I'd rather pay you 200 coins, here you go bud. 63 range, alright, what is next Conar? Conar? Mutated Zygonauts in Xanaris. I have no idea what the fuck that is, um... Jeez, they must be up here. I've never seen these before in my life, I'm not sure if we have to skip these. I'll go ahead and try them, um, just cause it's only 10, and uh, I could use some Slayer points, actually I have like a thousand, but... Just to uh, save Slayer points, right? Alright, so I think we just had to check the health of these berries again, and then we can get ourselves another contract. So, I'm actually really starting to like these. I think I'm going to de do these every day for sure. And, um, would we like another contract? I can't wait to get 65 farming because it opens this side of the, uh, the guild, and then we have the medium contract. So, let's go ahead and grow some rosemaries for us. Alright, okay, so we have completed three of the contracts, the other one is growing, and I just wanted to open three now so we can get a better sample size. Uh, we got, ooh, watermelon seeds, pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and spam these, honestly. So what are these? Ooh, six irits, that's what I was looking for, actually. I heard these drop quite a bit of irit seeds. 
Uh, Invitote Seed as well. Honestly, we get one Invitote, six Irids, ten Limps, which is awesome. And pretty garbage herb seeds, but we did get some willows. So the notable ones here are watermelon, irit, limp root for sure. That's awesome. And yeah, other other than that, it's pretty much garbage. But oh well, I actually really like these contracts. The really good thing about um the farming guild though is even with these junk seeds you just throw them all into this seed vault and then whenever you need them for more contracts you can just grab them so like it's just i love this update man this is my favorite one of my favorite places in runescape right now it's not complete aids i think i'm just gonna collect like a hundred of these a day for now until i really get into herb lore um just so i can keep up with it so i don't have to do it all at once really just collect about a hundred of these mushrooms every day and then we should be able to do a bigger blur grind eventually so yeah i know this isn't the most efficient method but it works for me teleport to my house um use the drain or or no the uh edgeville teleport then just use the arty cape to teleport back recharge my prayer and then come back pick the mushrooms it i don't know how many it would be per an hour maybe like 500 or so but uh i'm just gonna collect about a hundred a day like i said and uh yeah, the snape grass we don't have to worry about anymore because of farming, so that's really good. We're gonna have to collect a bunch of red spiders eggs in the future. We already got white berries growing and everything too, so herblore secondaries are coming in good, as well as we're getting quite a bit of more uh, limp root seeds from the farming contract, so it's all working out. Okay, that was actually worth doing. Honestly, just took a few seconds, and now we have hellhounds. Okay official run basically um let's go ahead and check the health of this maple tree and we get 65 farming which is amazing because now we have the mid tier in the farming guild as well as we can grow his spore and do the medium contract so i'm very excited about that oh guys i'm in love with this game right now i'm just loving the farming guild loving collecting everything myself i'm almost 70 slayer for kurosks oh it's so good we're gonna finish up the questing soon too um, the new Zaya questing, that looks cool, you get a book that teleports you around there, but I think I need like 20% favor in each thing, so we'll have to figure that out. That's not fun. Alright, so we, after we finish harvesting these cabbages, um, we should be done our contract, our easy contract anyways, and we can start our first hard contract, which I'm kind of a little nervous about, because who knows what they're gonna make me plant, and, uh, oh nice, our limp root's done as well, um... Holy shit, this is a lot of cabbages. Of course, there's like a million cabbages, but when I plant snape grass, I only get like 10. Um, but yeah. Alright, contract. I have completed my contract. Would you like another one? Yes, I would. And let's go ahead and pick out a medium one. Just see what we get. Medium contract. Could you please grow a maple tree for us? I will reward you once its health is checked. Ah, oh, I'm going to say, could I have an easier one? Because that takes so long. Um, uh, some dwell berries for us. Fuck, I better have a dwell seed, man. Or I'm going to be pissed. Because maple tree I could have done. We should have a dwell berry seed somewhere. Oh, thank God. Okay, so this is going to be a first impression for me. This is the tier 2 of the farming guild. Tier 1 is awesome. Okay, so we have a herb patch, which is fucking amazing. Honestly, like, so grateful for that. Another herb patch. We have a tree patch. And an amina patch. So that's a new patch. And what's the... Is this the Hispori, I think, right? If we enter this cave, we can grow Hispori, which I will probably end up doing... Um, but I'm gonna have to look up a guide on that because I do not want to die. And let's collect. I'm afraid you didn't... Okay, so that might have been... Oh, that's if you die to Hispori, maybe? That's cool. And yeah, so let's get a herb planted. I'm gonna try to plant everything, actually. Okay, so Anima looks like it needs 76 farming, I think, anyways. But yeah... Alright, so I've been doing Slayer today for what's check, let's check. I've done, okay, I've done 
9.6k slay. And let's check. Let's check. I have... Oh, fucking wrong thing. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Loot tracker. We have gotten three brimstone keys in less than 10k slay. Amazing. Oh, guys. This is exciting. 70 slayer has been achieved and we can now kill karasks which is one of the best slayer tasks you can get for an iron man you can get so many good drops from karasks like nature runes limp root roots a bunch of herbler secondaries and uh just in general quite a bit of money so i'm hoping in the next couple of tasks i'll get assigned them but probably not with my luck i'll probably get like 75 slayer before i even get assigned one and we just got another brimstone key as well. Another rune full helm. This is a good trip. Holy shit. Actually, that level I did not even see coming. We just hit 82 strength as well. That should maybe make another max hit. Uh, yeah. So we actually hit a 31 on this task. I don't know if that is like my best, but we're hitting quite well with the DDS lately. Um, not on video, of course, but <laughs> a little problem right now. We have 36 HP. 33 HP, no food, no prayer, and we have six kills left. <sighs> I was asking these guys if I can do it, but I don't know. I might be very low, but I don't want to come back here because it takes so long to walk here. I should have maybe saved my prayer or something, but kind of scary. We did it, man. I underestimated jellies like a lot. Like we got three fucking brimstone keys. We got, oh my god, quite a bit of gems, actually, which is going to be so nice, because I do need to make more jewelry. We got a mithril, a uh, kite shield, a gold bar. I mean, good for iron. A couple gold bars. Uh, we got some mithril boots, and we got, what, four full helms? Not a bad task. I have been waiting to make this clip for a very, very long time. 70 Slayer was the goal I set myself in order to open my Brimstone Keys. We have 21 of them. But first of all, can we get Karasks? Please give me Karasks. Trolls. Um, not too good. Okay. Kind of shitty, but I mean, whatever. Let's go ahead and open these keys. So the first key... <laughs> 21 or 27 diamonds jesus what the hell 30 more what what that's insane crafting xp oh my god these are amazing profit as well arrow tips let's go keep going oh my god more diamonds what the hell this is the real money 400k right there some gold ore, which is awesome. Some more fucking diamonds. What? Oh, very, very nice. Because we started farming palm tree seeds. I'm looking for an ours. <laughs> what? What? We got the mystic. Oh my god, that's amazing. I'm pretty sure that's really rare. Keep going. Room plate legs, which is uh, 40k elk. Not bad. Some more of the dragon arrowheads. Oh, room plate body. That's hilarious because we don't even have one. As you can see, I'm wearing a uh, dragon hide right now, so that's actually useful. 113k raw cash. Okay. Oh my god! 5,000 pure essence! Holy shit! Oh my god, that's amazing. Another room plate legs. 35 rubies. Perfect. Because I need to make some more of the, uh, what are they called? The dig site pendants. A nice bit of cooking XP there. A lot of cooking XP. Thank you. What did we get there? Some more dragon arrows. We got another 50k cash. And 65k cash. So there we go. All of the brimstone keys are open. Rune light says it's 1.9 mil. So honestly, amazing. Pure essence uh, for rune crafting. We got some more stuff for crafting, which is amazing. We got the rare. This is, I'm definitely keeping that. That's amazing. Um, quite a bit of fletching supplies, some more smithing supplies, some more armor, and a just a bunch of cash. So Honestly, really happy with that.
All right, coming in with 62 Hunter. I'm not sure when the next birdhouse is because we're using quite a bit of U logs, which is kind of a lot of money. But, uh, well, could be a lot of money, but uh, worth it to get the farming and quite a bit of uh, seeds for farming as well. So, yeah, not going too bad. Oh, I just love Iron Man so much. Usually I'd get all those uncut diamonds and be excited to sell them, but I'm excited to craft them just for that little bit of crafting XP. It'll probably push me to 80, to be honest. Guys, I just noticed 1,700 total.